Hey guys, Kevin here, and in this video, I want to teach you how to properly strike a speed bag. Okay, the speed bag is one of those things where if you have one in the gym, um, you see it standing there, you watch, if you watch, you'll see people go up to it. Some people know how to strike it and they're really good. Other ones, they'll try and mess with it, get frustrated and walk away and they quit. They don't even bother with it. But it's not that hard once you get the pointers down and learn how to do it correctly. This bag right here is stationary. It doesn't adjust. Um, you can get a setup like this for your home in the garage for about $100 to $120. This frame here is bolted to these 2x4s and then fixed to my um, cinder block wall here. The reason I have it attached to this uh, 2x4s is to absorb some of the vibration and kind of dampen the noise a little bit because it's an outer wall and it goes through to a bedroom and stuff like that. So if you do have one of these in your home, be prepared for, you know, people inside the house are going to hear it. People outside may hear it. Your neighbors, if you got your garage door open, they'll probably stop and watch or take a look um, because it makes a noise. It's loud. Okay, getting into these pointers, the very first thing and crucial thing in striking the bag correctly is making sure it's adjusted to the right height. Some may be adjustable and you can move them up and down. Some may not be. So you might have to like either stand on a box or something, but you want to make sure that this bag is at your chin level. The bottom of the bag and your chin should be lined up or very, very close. That's step one. If you're shorter, you can stand on a box or something, a platform or whatever to probably bring yourself up to the proper height. If you're too tall and the, the bag isn't adjustable, I don't know what to tell you because you're gonna have a hard time hitting this properly because you're gonna be striking downwards on it. Which leads me to point number two. Point number two is making sure you're striking through the bag. You're not chopping down on the bag from above and you're if you're, too short and you don't have it adjusted properly, you don't want to be hitting up on the bag because when you do, you're going to hear that noise. It's driving the bag up and it's knocking, um, knocking the swivel. All right. So you want to be hitting directly straight through the bag, straight through this fat part of the bag. Your strike should be aimed straight through. Number three, and this is the biggest problem everybody has is when you watch a movie or you're watching boxers train, like say Rocky in the training montage, the bag's moving so fast that people think that it's just going like this. They're hitting it and that it's just, you know, like this and they're just doing it super fast and it's just going back and forth like that. That's not the way it is. If you listen to the rhythm of the bag, there's a three count rhythm. It's pop, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that rhythm comes from the bag being struck. And it's one, two, three, and then it's being hit on the way back after the third strike. So it's being struck. It's one, two, three, strike, which would be like one, two, three, and then strike. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you're striking straight through the bag. Okay. Now, if you remember the last video, when I talked about the transition from traditional martial arts to self-defense, this is a perfect example of tightening things up. Because if you're coming from a traditional martial art and you're doing a back fist, traditional back fists, you may parry and then it's a big circle this way. These circles, just like in the other video, are shrunk. You're compacted this way. So this circle, you're moving your arm in a circle rotating at the elbow. This is where you're striking the bag. And it's not a big circle like this. It's not an exaggerated circle. It's a tight, small circle here. Your shoulders are going to get a workout because you're keeping your hands up. Your elbows are getting a workout and the joint is staying mobile because of the circular motion. There's getting fluid pumped into the joint and your arms are getting worked because you know, you're just, it's all arm, you know? So stay relaxed. That's another key point. You want to stay relaxed because if you're here and you're real tight and you're tense and you're like trying to hit this thing, it's going to make it harder. It really is because 
you're going to sit there and you're going to hit it and then you're going to miss and you're going to be you can't do anything smoothly and this is a exercise that requires you to be relaxed and to be fluid you can't be fluid if you're tense all right so from here it's the count of three and small circles one two one two three one two three one two three small circles hitting straight through the bag so that it goes straight out and straight back all right now you're going to stay relaxed and when you switch hands you can sway to the other side a little bit all right so that see and now if you screw up like this steady the bag and start again it's no big deal because you're going to find your good hand is more coordinated than your bad hand and until you get used to hitting it on both sides it's you're probably going to mess up so stay relaxed all right don't have your shoulders all tense stay relaxed and sway one you can bounce even stay relaxed and then move from side to side see again i'm not i'm busy talking and not focusing here so here straighten straight through and then you move to the other side now you can go side to side but move your whole body okay and so on but it all starts right here slowly proper height step one striking straight through the bag step two three count and hit three count rhythm step three tight circles step four staying relaxed step five staying relaxed and flowing with the movement starting right here slowly one two three so you get the rhythm down just start here until you're comfortable with this and then just hit it a little bit harder because the harder you hit it the faster it's going to rebound and it's going to force you to move your hands quicker the slower the lighter you hit it the slower and that's it for go. this video if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up so that it improves the views and other people get to see it share it with your friends and other people you think may benefit and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos that come out and every wednesday is warrior wednesdays here and we put out a new self-defense related video for home trainers specifically every single wednesday to help you develop the skills to defend yourself in a self-defense situation and not only become a warrior on the street but a warrior in life because all of the training carries over to other aspects of your life and that's the true key and the true benefit of martial arts and self-defense if you've never studied a martial art before go over to thewarriorandyou.com and be sure to sign up for the Tang Sudo Basics course, which is absolutely free. You can study on your own time in your own home and learn the basic art of Tang Sudo, which is a Korean form of karate. And if you have friends, family that are also interested in starting, be sure you share that website with them so they can sign up as well and you guys can train together. So I'll put the links for those below. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, whether you found this video useful, if you didn't find it useful, please let me know below. I'd love to hear either way. And if you, there's anything that you specifically want, because self-defense can be such a broad area. If you have any self-defense concerns or anything that you'd like to see um, in a video coming forward, please put it in the comments below. Let me know or sh contact me through my uh, contact page on my website at uh, kevinwpatella.com. The links are both below. You can click on those and just drop me a line either way, and I'll be sure to address it and get back to you with an answer as soon as possible. So until next week, continue to train hard. Remember to find and develop that habit of training, schedule your training, um, and pick your time and stick with it. It's kind of slow going in the beginning. It takes time. You're learning new ways to move your body, but don't ever quit. Until next week, keep training, stay focused, and God bless.